After personally bearing witness to the greater than expected power of the evil dragon, Trunks transformed into Super Saiyan 3 as a last resort. The dragon is obviously shocked by this newfound power. <sighs> What's with this guy? Not only did his appearance change, but also his power and speed. What? What the hell is he? Though we may have the upper hand for now, it's obvious Trunks is losing stamina fast. But he tells himself as long as he can maintain the Super Saiyan 3 form, he has a good chance to win this fight. Before reminding himself yet again, his opportunity is limited. All right. <clears throat> With the intensity of the attack, Trunks realizes his power is plummeting before outright dropping out of the Super Saiyan 3 form, immediately realizing the danger he's now in. Trunks drops to the ground, pleading with himself for it to be over. But as the dust clears, the dragon emerges from the carnage. How dare you? You've really done it this time. This isn't good. Huh? You went back to normal. It seems that transformation was limited. Your power has dropped substantially. The dragon then declares Trunks is nothing in his current state, and the battle is over. <laughs> As it's quickly confirmed that Trunks doesn't stand a chance without Super Saiyan 3, the dragon says, Let me give you a word of praise before I finish you off. That power was magnificent. If you had been able to keep fighting like that, I wouldn't have stood a chance. Now out of respect, I'll finish you now so you don't suffer. Farewell. Just then, Goten comes out of nowhere and sends the dragon flying. Sensing his distress, Kabuto Kai transported him there to help out. Facetiously, Goten asks if he arrived too soon. While immensely happy to see him, he has his pride to protect still, so he tells Goten way too soon before Goten quips back. After this, you better give me a raise, boss. I'm gonna be a dad soon, so I need the money. But while they're talking, the dragon snaps back into action. Ugh, I won't forgive a surprise attack. While he and Goten stare each other down, he tells Trunks, now that that's settled, let's end this quickly. Right. And with the joint efforts of Trunks and Goten, they're able to recover the two-star ball. Now that things have calmed down, Goten jokes, but why did you have so much trouble with a guy like that? Z shut up! We were only able to beat him so easily because I weakened him. But to be honest, you did kind of save me. We then join Oob once again, who's still struggling with his evil dragon. Ugh, he's strong. <laughs> Telling the dragon that he was caught off guard because of the gap between how he looks and how strong he is, but that won't happen next time. Huh? As Oob goes to launch an attack, he abruptly stops for some reason. <laughs> what? Getting knocked to the ground yet again, Oob picks himself up. He thinks to himself how this whole situation is just odd. The key he senses from this guy isn't supposed to be very strong. But why are his attacks doing next to nothing in damage? While continuing to laugh his derfy laugh, Oob grows ever concerned. Finally, the dragon says, You have such a puzzled look on your face. Do you want me to tell you why your attacks aren't working on me? He then explains that due to the tremendous negative energy coming out of his body, the power of all positive energy is rendered completely ineffective in a 5 meter radius, essentially acting as a shield around him. And that's why those with a strong sense of justice have a very bad chance against him. Putting it in other words, Oob says, So you're saying my key is being erased before it even reaches you? To which the dragon confirms, So you understand? There's absolutely no way you could beat me. Ugh. So hurry and send me back to the Earth. But Oob still vows that there's no way that's going to happen. Goku and the others, himself and the others, they're protecting the Earth with their own hands. But the dragon just warns, no matter how many times you try, the result is going to be the same.
charging an immense ball of negative energy. The dragon says that people like you who possess the power of justice will undoubtedly die if they eat this. So you end here, human. As the negative energy begins to consume Oob, he finds himself in a sort of limbo, wondering what's happened to him. Is he dead? Where am I? What was I doing? None of it even matters anymore. The sensation is very dark and hateful, but somehow familiar. I felt this somewhere before. It's very nostalgic. I want to destroy. I want to feel rage. I won't forgive. I am a Majin. And with the negative energy, Oob has reverted back to his Majin form. Sensing it, Kabutokai notes that this key is tremendously evil, wondering if it could even be Oob. He just tells himself that this is not good and he must hurry ahead. Even Goten points out that this key feels very familiar, and Trunk shouts that he's confident that this is Majin Buu's key. But what could this possibly mean? But Gohan has a slightly different variation on what he senses, saying he feels a mix of both Oob and Buu. And Oob's key has grown several times stronger than before. But what could have happened to him? This is ridiculous! I'm sure your key should have vanished! But not only, your key resembles our key! As the dragon lies in confusion, Oob has done enough sitting around. While his energy terrifies the dragon, Oob finally speaks up. I'm going to kill you, scum! I won't forgive you! While focusing on this, something else gets both Vegeta and Gohan's attention. With Vegeta saying, It's about damn time you showed up! As Gohan just stares on at his adversary. Gohan and Vegeta's battles are finally about to begin. But what's become of Oob?